everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Sonia, third year PhD student studying math. And this week I want to take you guys along for my reading week. When you're a grad student who doesn't have classes, it may seem like reading week doesn't matter, but the nice thing about it is that I don't have any tutorials to do, I don't have any grading to do, so I can really just focus on learning this week and that's what I plan to do. Today I have my update meeting with my advisor so my plan is just to research the whole day and then meet with him um, i'm kind of stressed about the meeting because i keep working on like little small things but then like i get confused about how they all fit together for the big picture and i think my advisors are not confused like i feel like i always ask them the same questions every week and i just want to be able to come to them with something going well but i think it's probably normal to be like this, at least I hope. Um, but maybe I'll have something, it's like, I have like five hours until my meeting, so maybe by then I'll have something better to tell them. So obviously it's the next day. Um, yesterday's meeting with my advisor was super helpful. So I calculated something before. Basically, like let's say you have an algebra A and then it has a subalgebra B and I'm trying to study the A module and for um, the subalgebra, this module as a B algebra is um, completely reducible. And then I was just like not sure how to use that information. and. I was trying to relate it to in lead theory where you, um, if when you're when you study like SL three, you use what you know about SL two to study it. Um, but I was like, as I was trying to make that analogy, I my brain just wasn't working. But the meeting in the meeting, my advisor like kind of showed me what he thought we could do, and it actually made a lot of sense. So that was really nice, <laughs> and. I was really excited to work on it today and then I realized that I have to talk today at 5 p.m. Um, by talk I mean like give a math talk and it's nothing like serious so we're doing a, a reading group on algebraic geometry and I think the end goal is to understand schemes. Uh, I'm not sure actually I forget schemes or sheaves I don't know what either of them are. There's like five of us, uh, two of them like already have a good understanding of algebraic geometry and me and the other two are more new to it, but I think it's something I should know and I don't really know that much about it. I've only taken one class, so we're, we're just reading through Shafarevich's second book. I forgot the exact name. We're reading through Shafarevich's book, Basic Algebraic Geometry 2. Um, so I just have to talk about Zariski topology and projective space, which is not too bad because I did learn those things before. So hopefully I can get together a decent talk by five because I don't want to be wasting the other students' time. Like I want to actually do a proper talk. At, so we'll see how that goes. Hopefully okay. It's way after the talk. Uh, so my, even though I didn't cover everything I wanted to on the talk, I still managed to talk for almost an hour. And then the five of us discussed the problem of some exercises from the textbook for like another hour. And then I was just like done after that. And uh, because of that, and my gym closes at nine, like 
I needed to drink some coffee afterwards and then I just like didn't make it in time to go to the gym and then yesterday it was raining and today is minus 10 so I was kind of worried to go running outside since it could have a lot of black ice so I'm kind of like sad that I didn't go on my on my run today because it was in my plan but other than that today was a rough day and to learn from that I guess the lesson is to like write down the stuff you need to do which I do sometimes but just not always and then like kind of glance at your plan every day so you don't forget about something last minute and then have to spend a whole day planning a talk but at least tomorrow can be a full research day and right now I'll just go put on a sitcom and I am in bed so just go to bed and maybe sleep early <laughs> Hey everyone, so it's the next day and I finally have no meetings or anything for like the next four days, which I'm really happy about because I can just focus on my research and I think I'm at a point where I'm really motivated to work on it, so that's kind of nice. And before I get started on that today, uh, I'm trying out this new app called Dote Timer, which is supposed to help you like organize your day-to-day -day life. Um, they just reached out to me and asked me to review it. Uh, so it's not like a sponsorship or anything like that. It's just like an honest review. So I'm, I'm going to try it. I've been trying it a little bit, but I want to like officially try it for the channel. And today's a good day to do it since my whole day is open. So I'll plan today and tomorrow and we'll see how it goes. Uh, from what I've tried so far, the app is pretty nice. I think it would be nice to use along with Notion because it's good for like day-to-day -day tasks um, but not so good for maybe uh, like long-term planning which Notion is very good for. Okay so research I'll pick pink and I will do from 10 30 even though I might just probably start as soon as I finish planning and I'll put it till 11.30. I think my parents want to go on a small walk before lunch, so we'll go with that. Not every day, just today. And then, let's see the next research block. Okay, so I'll go maybe one to two. And then I want to go to the gym after because it's, like it's so busy after like the nine to five work hours so so sometimes you have to wait to like get certain equipment and stuff so i'm just gonna since i don't have my usual class i want to go there in the afternoon okay, so i'll put my gym time and then this like nice screen and so i'll go from two to four. It usually takes like that long to go there and do all my stuff and come back. Okay, so this day is planned and we'll see how it really goes. Okay, so that's that. I guess it's almost 10 30, which is my like now planned research time. So I'll go work on that for a bit and hopefully it'll go well. <laughs> 